Hey everybody, welcome to this 100th Monday live stream. Kind of unbelievable that we're here 100 Mondays later. Um, I want to say hi to, to uh, lots of people joining us today for this special occasion. Uh, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe I won't even say hi to everybody because it might be a little too much. Um, but I really appreciate all your, all your kind words and it's just meant the world to me to be able to share all these moments with you, really. Uh, I think I'll start off by saying thank you to uh, the people who've been supporting me on Patreon. Uh, it would have been pretty impossible to do this without you, so thank you very much. Thanks also to the many other people who supported these live streams in other ways uh, by, yeah, many different ways. Um, Thanks to you too. So the exciting thing today is uh, I wanted to do a couple things. The first thing is that I wanted to echo live stream number 50, which was all about celebrating the sense of community that we formed by including um, your creations and making it kind of a, even more of a two-way exchange. But the other one was one of the most meaningful things I've done over these last hundred live streams is, is connected with my fellow musicians. And uh, two in particular have been uh, on these live streams a lot, and that's uh, Jorge Roder, bassist, and Kristen Berardi. And um, Kristen is actually with us now. So without further ado, I want to welcome the uh, wonderful Kristen Berardi. Hi, Kristen. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm so glad that you could be here today. Would have been weird not to have you here. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kristen, you're in uh, Switzerland? Yes, in Luzern. And it was, it's beautiful blue skies at the moment, but really cold. It gets me every time. <laughs> yeah, you're not used to that. You just, Kristen just moved to Switzerland from, from Australia a um, year and a half ago now? Um, no. You, not quite. A like year. A year and two months, I think, yeah. So, but um, yeah, it's nice to see the sky again. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. I had no clue. <laughs> yeah. A lot of gray skies over mm. there. Yeah. Um, Kristen, let's jump in and make some music. Okay. Um, you know, there's a request for a Skylark. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you want to sing Skylark? Sure. Um, or we could do something else too. I mean, I'm it's the hundredth live stream. We don't key. have to be. We don't have to stress ourselves out. <laughs> um, if if I sing Skylark in E flat, does that mean um, start I start on, on the? Oh, okay, now that's poo. Uh, I want to start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I asked. <laughs> Welcome to this family program. Oh no! Oh, maybe I'd do it in. What did you say? So if it's in E flat, it starts on C. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is also no, my mom's in... possibly favorite song ever. Oh, so dang. Yeah, okay, I really don't want to we'll start that up. We'll be in her honor up. too. Hmm. I think, um, I want to say I start on G, but that seems quite high. Oh boy. Hello. I have a special guest. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's Jorge Roder, <laughs> who's very early. Oh, he's here. He's there. I think he's downstairs. I think he's awesome. Gonna, I'll he's find gonna, the key. He's gonna come up. All right. Yeah, I think I want to start on G for some reason. Okay, sounds good. Here's um, Skylark with uh, the amazing Kristen Berardi.
Is there a meadow in the midst where someone's waiting to be kissed? Skylark, have you seen a valley green with spring?
Yeah, Kristen, beautiful. You too. Thank you so much. Um, Mike Seitz says, Kristen, you are an angel. Oh, thanks, Mike. You're too kind. <laughs> I, I annoy myself, so. You, you annoy yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't so find I'm yourself definitely... to be an angel? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't think angels are annoying. No? No. No, they're very lovely. I guess. I, I mean, I think, you know, if angels were perfect, they, they, would be, they wouldn't be angels. They have to have some imperfections. So who knows? Um, Isa Renardi says, really waiting to hear you live and do on Paris someday soon. I won't stop repeating it until you plan it. <laughs> yes, we've got to make that happen. Oh, you're awesome. Definitely have to make that happen. Well, thank, thank you for, um, you know, including me on these streams, Dan, because I've connected in with, um, even before I, I uh, sang with you, like it was just a nice kind of um, community, as you said. And, um, and I met Danielle and her husband, Mark, and Silvano and, and um, Isa. And I saw Isa yesterday. Was it yes? Yeah, it was yesterday in Luxembourg. She came to my gig, which was super awesome. So, yeah, it just, um, yeah, it's really beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, probably my favorite thing about these live streams. Mm. It's just the, the is building a community. And that was really kind of the original purpose of mm -hmm. these live streams was at a time when we were all so separated. Mm. Uh, yeah. It was just to kind of get a feeling back for how music can bring us together. Mm -hmm. and how we can feel like we're together sharing a moment. Yeah. And it's, it's so cool that that feeling of community has actually spilled out into the into the real world. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I need to figure out what we're doing because um, Jorge got here a lot earlier than I thought he was going to come here. <laughs> um, do, hey. do, you, do you mind if we do a couple more songs? Yeah. Cool, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I, I, wanted, I, I wanted us to all be able to play together, but um, there's just so much to do today and um, and Jorge had a rehearsal right before, so he couldn't be here uh, for sound check. And so I thought we'd just play a few songs, Chris and, 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 and me, and then move on to other things. Um, George, Je Jeffrey Shurman says, I don't know about Switzerland, but that was so warm. The ice is melting here in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Speaking of warm, should we, you know, um, live stream 100 is, as I mentioned, it's about... Uh, honoring this, the community and, and also by including you guys' contributions in, in all this. And, and we've been sent a few poems. So I was thinking maybe we could try improvising a, a little song. Yeah, cool. Um, or just a little improvisation with, with some, some lyrics. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Um, there was a contribution from Teresa Sewell that I thought was really sweet. You want to check that out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have no idea what's going to happen right now. <laughs> so let's go for it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
Dan. Yeah, I always love playing free with you, Kristen. Yeah, you do. How about we do one with the poem? Like? Like you, like, I was thinking like you could sing the lyrics. Oh, damn. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I guess it's your stream, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's just an idea. I'm just, I'm kidding. I'm just making sure I can say all of the words. <laughs> I could also I could also just do something with the poem later. Oh. Teresa Sewell asks, which poem? Which is the what is the title? Where I belong. Where I belong. Mm -hmm. wanna... Yeah. Why? Well, yeah. Let's try. Cool. I mean, how wrong can I go? Yeah, let's, I mean, that's the whole point of these, of these streams, <laughs> is, to, is to experiment, right? Yes, this is true. Do um, you want to read it first? Well, which, which, one, which one are you thinking? The one by Teresa Sewell, the first one I sent you. Oh, Where I Belong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. You want to read it first? Um, no, I think it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. This is Improvisation <laughs> with Teresa Sewell's poem, Where I Belong.
Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, I lo solo. love the melodies you're improvising there. Oh, thanks. I really dug your solo. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> That was super cool. I, I, I found um, those words are just so sweet. Mm. Fun to explore that space. Yeah. Uh, Teresa Sewell says, absolutely loved how you two interpreted my poem. Yay. Yay. That's good. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder if we want to do one more. Mm -hmm. There was a really interesting one there, right? Sent by um, Alex Turner. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um... With like undertones of physics and uh, mm -hmm. what's it called? The atomic particles? The death or? of the proton. The death of the proton. Oh my God, this is so up my alley. <laughs> Um, as some of you may know, I did study <laughs> physics, so. Um, but I need to make sure, um, the West, have you got it in front of you too, or nay? No, but I, I could. Okay, because I just don't want to say the West District of, is it Tai Chung? Oh, I wouldn't know. I think your guess is as good as mine. Can I get a thumbs up or thumbs down from any comments? <laughs> I think, you know, if we get it wrong, I think it's, we, we can correct it later. Maybe I can just mumble that bit. No one will know, right? That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I should bring it up just so I, I know what we're doing. <laughs> no, but I kind of like the idea of not so that I'm surprised. Uh -huh. too. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I'm saying it. That's right. I'm just listening to you. I'm... Uh... <laughs> I really know what's going on. Um, okay. Okay, I do have it in front of me just in case. In case I go rogue yeah. and just start adding bits. I can bring you back in. <laughs> okay. Death of the Proton by Alex Turner. Glenn Cornett asks, this is in Taiwan, right? Apparently it's pronounced Taijong. Ah, thank you. Tai Jong. But of course, Alex Turner, who actually wrote the poem, says, that sounds good, Kristen. So who, who are we going to trust here? <laughs> How did he say it initially? Tai Chung. So maybe Tai Jung. Jung? I wouldn't know. I'm just slurred all. But I'm actually, saying. Alex Turner says, yep. So I think Tai Jung it is. OK, sweet. Thank um, you both. Molly Shen asks, is Alex on this live stream? Yes, he is, but he's on YouTube. That's one of the things about these live streams is that I've been streaming to YouTube and Facebook and I can see everybody's, um, everybody's comments, but the people on Facebook can't see the YouTube comments <coughs> and vice versa. Bless you. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless um, you. So Alex says it should be Tai Chung. Okay, cool. Okay, here we go. Death of the Proton by Alex Turner, a free improvisation with Kristen Berardi.
Without a fool, your repeats the whole. As he smashes a plastic fan, parting metal from knot. Save the conversation for another tongue. Some speech is meant for heating. No ill will to destroy all comfort. was kind of an interesting exploration. Mm. Um, kind of amazing. Yeah, like the, it really um, paints a, such a clear uh, picture. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, yeah, thanks to Alex Turner for the poem. And um, thank you, Kristen, for, You're welcome. for doing this. I, I feel like um, I should Play with Jorge, uh, who yes. is who is sitting here. Um, <laughs> Hi, Jorge. And uh, Kristen, it's been such a joy. And uh, you know, 
I feel like one of the great things about doing these hundred live streams is just uh, getting to deepen our musical relationship. Yeah, I agree. And I look forward to more. Yes, me too. It's been so fun. Uh, Joyce Glasgow says, in black space, molecules vibrate, colliding, electric charges transmitting amongst themselves and communication their own language in metal and protons, unearthly. That's wicked. All right, Kristen. Well, um, thanks again. And, Thank you. Uh, can't wait to play music again very soon. Yeah, you too. Hugs okay. to Jorge. And um, Emily was going to say hi, but she is probably just on a screen. So hi okay. from Emily. Okay, well, <laughs> give her a hug for me. <laughs> okay, bye all. Okay. Thanks for having me, Dan. Bye, Kristen. Bye. Great to have you. All right. Well, that was super fun. Uh, and I'm so glad that, that Kristen could be here today because she's really been an essential part of, of these 100 live streams. Um, and now we have with us somebody who's also been a super essential part. In fact, um, he was here at the very start of when I, when I started doing um, remote um, remote concerts with other people. I mean, he was the first person I ever tried it with. And uh, it was just like, I can't even imagine the past two years without Jorge Roder. So um, give me one second while I try to bring, up, bring him up here. I think we should be able to, we should be able to do this. Okay. Um, Almost. <laughs> Give me one sec, guys. <clears throat> there he is. The one and only Jorge Roder. How you doing, Jorge? I mean, you know, unfortunately, we don't have a vocal mic for you. Oh, thanks. But, um, you know. The important mic is the bass mic, but I, I think people can probably still hear you. Let's see. Um, uh, let me just make sure. There we go. Now you're now now you're now you're here. Yeah. So how you doing, man? Mm -hmm. so I took my daughter to school and, you know, like what most kids are not wearing masks. It's a little scary, but it's, uh, you know, it feels like it should be going, coming back to normal. And I just walking, you know, I walked a portion of my way here and I bumped into people and just saying hi. And saying yeah. Hello. It feels, again, like a, like the out from Omicron kind of um, situation. So. Yeah, may it last. Um, I actually, last night I went to, I went to the Jazz Gallery and to the Vanguard, and it was just like such a breath of fresh air mm -hmm. to get out. Um, Are you, you were able to breathe fresh air at the Vanguard? No, I wore a mask. <laughs> I wore a mask the whole time. Yeah, I, I, I figure it's such a small price to yeah. pay. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we, we're just learning now about uh, long-term effects of, of having COVID, even if you've recovered and haven't had too many problems. Apparently, there's a pretty high... Um, there's a there's an increased chance a chance of blood clotting amongst other things so um anyway yeah they're saying if you're going to talk you got to talk louder but i think we should just play some music yeah. eh uh i just need to turn this camera a little bit Let's see oh just a little more this is a first you guys having like you know set changes in the middle of the show yeah um, we need some sponsors and commercial breaks too. That's right. <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial. Man, and then, then I could like switch things yeah, around. Switch. That's the whole point of the commercials. That hadn't even occurred to me until just now. Um, okay, so I thought one thing that Jorge and I could do would be to play some of the songs that I composed during the pandemic because, 
you know, those were written for you. So what better way to, uh, to honor the community that we formed here than by playing some songs that I wrote for you? So, um, yeah, how about, um, how about Squirrely? And maybe, yeah, we don't have to do the intro, just finish on the A section. Okay, and guys, let me know um, if there's a, any issue with the balance with Jorge, uh, because we haven't been able to do a sound check. I think, hopefully, it's cool. But who knows? Yeah. All right, this is Squirrely. Titled, by the way, by Molly Shen, who's with us today.
Yeah, man. <laughs> Ooh, so fun to play, man. It's been it's been ages, actually. It's been a really long time. Yeah, and you were just um, in Europe with yeah. with Shy Maestro, like just a few days ago. You played on Saturday? On Saturday. Yeah. In Baldo? Oh, yeah, that's right. In the same hall I played solo in November. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Auditorium de Baldo. Doesn't get much better than that. Um, all right, so just a little more sound for Jorge, and we're in business, I think. Um, yeah, man. Amazing that you could be back here, actually, for the 100th. Mark, Couldn't miss it. Couldn't miss it. <laughs> man, yeah, right. It was all meant to be. Uh, Mark Hillard Wilson says, such a great groove. I don't want it to end. And then boom. Love it. Thank you, Mark. And Carl McGoffin says, woohoo. Must be good to be in the same room. It is fun to be in the same room. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's do another one. Um, let's see. How about, how about, um, how about seconds? Would you rather do a yeah. different one? Huh? Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Remembering the thing. <laughs> okay, this is seconds and uh, with the amazing Jorge Rotor.
Man. Um, Beautiful, right? Yeah. yeah. So great to hear you play it, man. It's amazing to have you in my living room. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, one, one good thing about this pandemic, I mean, this, is, this has been said a million times, but it sure makes you appreciate the things that you might have previously taken for granted. Yeah. Um, Michael Loftus says, love that one. Thanks for playing it. Our pleasure. Uh, thanks for inspiring it. Joyce Glasgow says, we travel the cosmic bus into an unknown galaxy. What to find there? Stars and space dust, clusters of unknown golden substances floating without gravity, passing the windows of our cosmic tour bus as we marvel at vistas never before seen by the human eye. We venture further and further into deep space and the beyond on our, on our one-way journey, fearless into the ethers. Yeah. One thing that also the pandemic has done for me is I think it's sharpened my long distance vision. <laughs> so I can read that text from all the way over here. Um, hi to Freda Tepfer, who says she enjoys the music immensely. Thank you. Let's do another one. Um, any requests? If you got requests, let us know. It doesn't have to be a tune that I wrote. It could be a, a standard too. Hi to Todd Reynolds. Thanks for joining us, Todd. Um, oh yeah, you wanna? Oh yeah. That might be good. <laughs> or, or after, you know, right. as the case may be. I think we should do late night geometry. This is, um, this is a song I wrote for Jorge. I wrote it for Jorge and, um, and Eric Harlan. And actually, Danielle Prolong just, just requested it. So, perfect. Late Night Geometry.
Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. I remember so clearly um, the first time we played that. It was that was so crazy. I, I wrote it the night before this ex experiment. Yeah, it was the first time we played trio with um, over. We played a distance trio. Eric Harlan was in the woods in Pennsylvania, and Jorge was uh, at his apartment uh, across Prospect Park from me in Brooklyn, and. Um, and yeah, it was really thrilling that this music was coming together, you know? They were able to play together at that time. Nobody was playing together. Right. So, uh, Isa Renardi says that was her favorite version so far. Thank you both. Thank you, Isa. Um, hi to David Shine. Frank Geyer would like a standard. Um, wow, Glenn Cornett asked for Well You Needn't. Well, there's also a request from Frank Schumann for the Peacocks. That's kind of awesome. Maybe a quick while you needn't. Yeah, sure. Man, do you remember how we used to do that? When I remember that we used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but the how is a big problem. So um, I don't know if I've ever told you this. I must have told you this. But Jorge was in my, my, my first trio, basically, my first like professional trio when we were in our early 20s. We went to the New England Conservatory together and uh, we had a trio together. We toured a lot for like six years. We made two records, um, huge part of my musical life. And uh, we used to do an arrangement of, well, you needn't. So it was like in seven, in seven on the A sections. And then, uh, I mean, it was, just, it was just in seven. And then it goes to five on the bridge, but the bar lane stays the same. <laughs> You remember Wise this. Guys. You remember? Yeah, I know. Wise I know. Guys. I know. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I'll I'll, I'll lay it down if, if there are any doubts. Remember last time that you said I'll follow you and then <laughs> like, like, saying the last word. Yeah, man. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Well, you need him by Thelonious Monk. Thank you. 
We did it, man. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> Let's transition back to the seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta do the three against the five, right? Like, dun, tika, da, ga, ga, dun, tiki, 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 tiki. I would always do four, so I was like, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you do three. four. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Woo, that was fun. Like maximum nerd dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, hey, you know me. Gordon Lutz says, that wins the Monk's Hat Award I just made up. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate the, you. we gladly accept the Monk's Hat Award. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Oh, that's so fun. Um, do you want to try the other request? Um, the peacock. Peacocks? Yeah, sure. Ooh, the peacocks. Frank Geyer says, Dan, I will miss you. Well, same here. I will miss you guys a lot as well. But you know, well, I'll be back. It's not like this is the end of music. It's just, just the end of this continuous every single Monday live stream series. Um, yeah, the peacocks.
Yeah, Jorge, beautiful man. Thanks for these requests, you guys. Yeah. It's so fun to play tunes that you know we wouldn't have thought of playing otherwise. Uh, and I didn't know <laughs> uh, before. Like we, we, I don't think I don't I don't know if we played this song before, but I don't think I we've ever played it. Only last year. So. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we've ever played the Peacocks yeah, yeah, together. So. Yeah. yeah. Kind of a killer song. Um, Frank Schumann says, we had physical Dan, now metaphysical Dan and Jorge. <laughs> um, Carol McGoffin says, absolutely beautiful, mesmerizing. Molly Shen says, gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, Mike Seitz asks, what was that tune? It's called The Peacocks by... Oh, um, um, we're going to have to... <laughs> this is like one of those... Um, um, Jesus. It's By a, Jesus. It's a name of a person. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's actually a, a wonderful pianist. He has a beautiful mm-hmm. duo record mm-hmm. with, uh, yeah. with Dan Getz. That's mm-hmm. incredible. That's, that's, if you want to listen to like the Jimmy Rolls. Jimmy By Jimmy Rolls. Rolls. Thank, you. Thank you to Molly Shen. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Rolls was an uh, amazing pianist and songwriter. And, and his duo record with Dan Getz is really worth listening to uh, if you want to hear that song played. I think really the way it was intended. Um, so, um, guys, there are a lot of, oh boy, I can't believe how time has flown. This is crazy. It's already 3.45. This is insane. And I haven't even gotten to submissions from you guys, aside from, from a couple of poems. There's lots more to look at. So I think we're going to say thank you and goodbye to Jorge. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much for coming by, man. Especially the day after you just flew back from Europe. Gotta do the hundredth live stream, man. But it really would not have been the same without you. Thank you, man. So yeah, Thank bravo. You all. <laughs> and now, um, yeah. Now let's do some. Let's check in. Let's check in with. Let's check in with um, some more of the things that you sent in. And let me just move this camera for a second. Let's see. Because there are lots of thank you Jorge's here, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, Steve Cantor says, big props to Senor Roder. Um, Let's do. Let, let's look at these submissions. You guys sent in some sent, sent in some sent sent in some amazing stuff. As you know, uh, one of my favorite um, things on these live streams is uh, is are the the many drawings that Silvano Cardin uh, drew over the course of time. And um, I think we should watch the video that he sent in. And I just hope this is going to work. Aha, I see what's happening here. Hold on one second. Um, There we go. Okay, starting again, video from Silvano Cardin.
Yeah. Man, thank you. Thank you so much for that, Silvano. That, that was awesome. And I love the opening. Um, it's not only an artist, but he has a sense of humor. But seriously, though, um, you know, it's, again, this whole experience, these 100 live streams, it's all been about togetherness. It's all about, it's been all about feeling a sense of not being alone through all of this. And um, it's made me feel even less alone when the artistic thing is not going one way, but it's going both ways. So uh, it's been really cool seeing Silvano create week after week after week after week, 88 of them. That's pretty crazy. So thank you. Um, a few of you sent some pictures in, um, and I want to I want to show I want to show those. So, for example, um, Ron Rosenthal sent in this beautiful orchid. Uh, he grows these orchids, and uh, I thought that was pretty special. Let me see. Let me let me just play a very very short little something. Um, something orchidy. something so powerful about orchids you know they're these just amazing like works of beauty but also of sensuality and and they're so sculptural they, they have a kind of a, of a solidity to them um yeah orchids they're they're not lightweights even though they're so beautiful um pascal lafredi sent in this beautiful picture of Tulips, I believe. Uh, Joyce Glasgow says, A delicate flower in pink and white, nurtured into bloom by love and attention, it gives forth its gift of inspiration. Uh, yeah, these tulips are... These tulips are cool too, right? Much simpler. Much simpler. They're like... thing about tulips I think is that they 
they're innocent. Orchids, they live for a long time. And uh, I think they, they feel like they, they have seen it all. I mean, they're beautiful, but they, they're like experienced. Um, tulips are, are very innocent. Next, we have Molly Shen, who sent this gorgeous picture of a clementine peel. And uh, I just love the light on this. A lot of fire in that clementine peel. Some of you may have seen that I made a video explaining how to make um, clementine lanterns. So I'm quite, I love clementines. Um, maybe, maybe I can do something here with like the, the roundness of, of this shape combined with, um, with its brokenness. I'm sorry, I had my talk mic on for that, but anyway, hopefully it still sounded okay. Uh, thank you, Molly, for, for this contribution. And uh, finally, we have Joyce Glasgow, who made this, um, this drawing of a zebra and a piano. And there's, um, there's a poem that goes along with it. Uh, let me see if I can, let me see if I can, I can get it. I think... I think I can. Hold on. Yes. So the poem goes like this. A zebra dances in euphoria in a field of purple lavender in the south of France. The bracing scent of lavender fills his nostrils as he hears music in his head. He raises his cup of wine in celebration, in anticipation of the pianist who will come and play soon on the shiny black piano, surrounded by yellow and white daffodils. The cool stream runs by, leading to the blue pool with a magic eye. The refreshing air from the rushing water enlivens the zebra's dance. Enlivens? Um, dance, zebra, dance, with your cup of wine and your wild black mane and vivid stripes. Dance delica delicately on your tiny hooves. Graceful and demonstrative, wild and free. Spring is here. Gotta hand it to Joyce. Um, she has been an incredible presence on these 100 live streams, constantly creating um, new poetry, uh, these vivid images, these vivid pictures that she paints in words and sometimes um, in paint, they've been, uh, they've been an important part of these streams, really. They've been, uh, they've been shaping it the whole time. So here's a, here's a little improvisation for you, Joyce, based on, based on this image.
an improvisation for Joyce Glasgow's drawing of the zebra with the cup and the piano in the south of France. Um, it wasn't very French what I just played, but it did feel, when I look at this picture, I do see joy, but I also see something almost a little demonic with that, with that zebra. Hi to Nora, Nora Murray Kavanaugh, great to have you here. And George Thomas Wilson, my uh, cousin, says, I just heard Uncle Chuck breaking through. My grandfather, Chuck Ruff, is uh, one of my biggest inspirations. He was a jazz pianist on the West Coast. And uh, I played a lot of Boogie Woogie as a kid, um, partially inspired by him. <clears throat> okay, now we have something very special. Um, this is, let's see, let's see if I can introduce this correctly. Um, so, Isa Rinardi she is um, amazing, of course, as, <laughs> as, as people are on, on, these, on these live streams. It's, it's pretty amazing. And she made this video um, that is this totally embarrassing tribute to these live streams and um, I I would be I am embarrassed to show it except that it's it's really it's really fun and uh, and it's funny too so um, I'm gonna play it this is Isa Renardi's contribution We have a sense of scale. We have a sense of how small we are, both um, in terms of, of, of geography and in terms of history. And on the other hand, we're eternally trapped inside our own point of view. Um, but I just love this image um, of the infinite of the cosmos and man's attempt to reach up towards it in some fashion. I've been climbing mountains my whole life <clears throat> and I know that it can get pretty cold. We didn't really know what the weather would be like up there. And uh, I figured, I didn't have any extra clothes with me. I figured I'd just bring my bathrobe from the hotel just in case. And so I ended up putting it on and climbing up this pole. One E and a two E and a three E and a yeah, just like absolutely at the same time. Just such a massive difference from what's happening with Zoom. Trappist one's very special, and I'm going to play the planets for you. So we're going to be both listening to the pitches of these planets. And when I mean pitches, I really mean the relationship between the, the frequencies. And by frequency, I mean the orbital period. So we're going to be listening to the pitches of the planets, and I'm also going to be playing the rhythm of these planets, as in if you have one that goes around twice in this orbital, orbital period, and another goes three times, then the rhythmic relationships between them is going to be two to three. So that's like ding, da, da, boom, ba, do, ba, boom, boom. Okay? Does that all make sense? 
So sorry for your loss, Marilla. Um, Marilla says, perfect choice. Thank you, Dan. I went for this long run today and uh, I just feel like your energy is just bringing everything back down to the earth. I wrote an essay at the beginning that explains um, how this inversion process works and also why um, I think it sounds so good and also why one would want to do this in the first place. Amazing, right? Um, Isa, thank you so much for that. It's just <laughs> incredibly sweet uh, of you to, to, to have done that. An incredible amount of work too. I don't know how you um, found all those clips from way back when. I thought it was kind of funny to have, to be showing a video taken in this space but in the past, superimposed over the same space, but in the present. Um, that's, that's pretty interesting. Uh, Silvana Rafa said, wow, how much philological work this needs. Great, Isa. And uh, Nora Marie Cavanaugh said, oh, this is wonderful. And it's true. I think a lot of work went into that. Thank you so much, Isa. So we've been here for over two hours and um, it has been just really, really special having this extended special live stream for number 100. It's going to feel really weird um, not seeing you all next Monday. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll be back together soon. I'll, I'll keep you posted. Oh, and by the way, if you want to keep uh, in touch, please sign up for my, mail, my, my mailing list on my website. If you go to dantepfer.com, you can uh, sign up for, for my mailing list. And uh, I will keep you posted on everything that's happening. Um, I wanna say hi to Jonathan Glass. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for being here also a lot. Jonathan is a really wonderful artist as well. Um, thanks to Marcy Adriana, Barry Sultanoff, Mike Seitz, who says I'll be back because I'm hooked. <laughs> Thanks again, you all, and um, we will see each other again, okay? Much love to you all. Bye-bye.